Hey guys, it's Jag! Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, Fire Emblem Three Houses. And last time we had our second free period. Of course, all we can still do is really explore. But we used the time to our advantage. We unlocked the use of battalions. We uh, learned how to cook, and that's really useful. We have the choir now, which I'm curious to see what comes of that. And of course, we had quests. And we even did a little bit of recruiting. We got a new student. Not that I'm particularly pleased with the student that we could recruit at this point in time, but we learned how it works at least. And you know, a new unit is a new unit. He might come in handy, even if his personality kind of sucks. But um, after all that, I'm looking through the map here and I don't see any more West dialogue bubbles or just chat bubbles are anything really to uh, continue exploring and doing and we don't have any more activity points so I think it's safe to finish exploring and see what the next day brings us so let's do just that this will end today's free time do you want to proceed yes Day 12. Hey, we're actually teaching. Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. Sure. This is the first time we're actually getting to, you know, do what seems to be a major mechanic for this game, so I'm actually kind of excited. Instruction. When you instruct your students, they gain skill experience. As their skill levels increase, they will gain access to new abilities and combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is indicated by your activity points at the top of the screen. When you set up a group task, the students you assign will continue the task until you change it. After the first run round of instruction each month, your students may come to you with a question. They will be motivated if they like your answer. Okay, so... I'm just going to review this because this seems pretty complicated. We can instruct our students individually or as a group. And after the first round, then we get an opportunity to bond, essentially. Okay, I like this. Let's give it a shot. Oh, here's even more. Skill goals. Before starting lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Okay. The students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. And that increases their motivation, I assume, which probably means they get done with it faster? I'm guessing that's what motivation is going to turn into. Skill Goals Students study on their own and earn skill experience according to their skill goals. Results are reported at the end of each week. You can alter the student's goals at any time using the Goals menu. Instruct. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. That's kind of what I assumed, which is why I started with the Black Eagles, because most of these students are supposed to have good affinity for magic, and that's what I wanted in my playthrough. So I wanted them to be able to learn magic as soon as possible. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. Well, of course. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously considered. Now that's interesting. This is actually turning out to be a really complex system. Instruct. A three-star mark next to a skill indicates that you will unlock a budding talent after a certain amount of instructing. Okay, so you're at least not doing it blind. Once you unlock a budding talent, that person will go on to excel in that particular skill. They may even learn a new ability or combat art. Alright, suggested goals. This is all very important. A student's goals may change based on their studies or the experience they gain while on missions. And very exciting. I just wanted to finish my sentence there. When that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what new goals they should set for themselves. You're kind of a useful teacher's pet. I like you, Edelgard. Suggested goals. As students improve from instructing and personal study, they may approach you with suggestions for new goals. Whether to accept their suggestions or not is completely up to you. 
feel free to guide your students along paths of your own choosing. I'm starting to get the sense that like in my downtime, I'm going to, in real life, I'm going to have to come up with some sort of curriculum that we're going to follow d throughout this let's play. That's uh that could be fun. Motivation. How motivated a student is will affect how well your tutoring goes. To help cultivate their motivation, I think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible. Okay. So this isn't I thought originally it was for support, but it's far more logical now that they're actually telling us about, you know, self-study that, you know, it helps them be more motivated to study and accomplish their goals faster. Please try your best to motivate everyone so that they in turn will try hard with their assignments and activities. And maybe it will lead to better supports. Motivation. You can instruct students with high motivation more frequently. One way to increase motivation is to interact with your students around the monastery. Hopefully that's not just, you know, dinners and cooking, but just talking as well. Group tasks. At the Officers Academy, students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. That is a fluffy horse. I want to brush that horse. That horse looks amazing. If you instruct your students to work together as a team, it will help to deepen their bonds and produce better results. Group tasks. You can assign one group task each week. Students who take part will gain skill experience based on your choice. You can also get gold and resources by completing these tasks. The result of a group task will depend on the student's strengths, weaknesses, and affinity for one another. So just like real life. This is actually drilling down teaching to, you know, from a, teaching is a science and they're actually translating that science into something that's starting to sound really fun. Have you heard Certifi about the certification exams? They take place every month. Everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier. And those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come. In order to pass the exam, you need to train enough to become whatever class you're aiming for. So I just want to pause right here and notice something. Dorothea has a different outfit. So it looks like there may be different costumes that you can unlock. That could be cool. Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. Or maybe it's a new outfit based on their her class. That could be a possibility too. Certification exams. When you pass a certification exam, you can change to a new class. Benefits of high tier classes include increased strengths and in increased increased stats and growth rates. I'm just going to go with it. You can read it. I don't know why I stumbled over that so hard. All right, that seems to be everything. Begin lesson plan. Uh, we could instruct, we can auto instruct, but where's the fun of auto instruct? What group tasks do we have first? Stable duty. Work together to clean the stables and feed the horses. Raises riding skills. Weeding. Work together to rid the monastery of weeds. Raises heavy armor skills. Skywatch. Work together to secure the skies. Raises flying skills. Alright. Instruct. Okay, so... If I... Click on Edelgard here. She has. Um, hmm. This is actually going to be kind of difficult for me to read. I can instruct her in the sword for one session and raise her strength and her professor expertise. Can I see the details on this? Um, X. Oh, that's not going to help. I'm guessing that, yeah, you know, she's got a strength for it. And then, oh, because I know the sword, I get an extra bonus to it. And just like, because I know how to brawl, I can give her a slight bonus to it so that she will be uh, instructed even better than normally. Okay. Um, so that would mean like 
Something like the sword, she gets a lot of benefit from learning from me about, but not so much for the axe because I don't have, um, you know, I don't have high skills in axe skills or high aptitude for axe skills yet. Okay, and then she won't learn so much about magic or archery, but she will learn a little bit. But she can be trained in reason. And if she's trained enough, she's going to unlock a talent for it. Oh. Well, right now, um, I think I'm happy with her learning the axe. So let's start there. Nothing worth celebrating. <laughs> Praise. Motivation Praise increased. Really? Aw, and it did raise my affinity with her. Alright. Does that mean I have four sessions with her? Oh, because of her motivation. If I can keep her motivation high, I can keep teaching her. Okay. So let's teach her with the axe a little more. And, um, kind of curious what she could do with reason. Kind of want to know what this, this hidden talent of hers might be. Plus, you know, someone who wields, ooh, uh, she can't learn faith though, right? But reason could actually be useful for her because it would give her a ranged attack. And since she's bad at archery, or she doesn't have an affinity for archery, but she could have an affinity for reason. It might be useful to teach her some magic. Let's give it a shot. But her skill goals are acts and authority, so I need to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and, and raise her. I'm improving, thanks to you. Yeah, raise her authority a little bit, because she wants to be a leader. And I think I did that twice by accident. Oops. All right, so reason for sure this time. I'm improving, thanks to you. All right, I like this. All right, so Edelgard is not motivated to learn anymore, and now I can choose someone new to instruct. Uh, Dorothea. Dorothea has high motivation. I want to take advantage of that. Let's see, I could teach her in the ways of the sword, and she does want to learn the sword. Sword and reason does seem like a good combination for her. That would give her a long range and a close range ability. Let's see, she is weak to white magic, or weak to faith. But if I train her in it, she could get a talent for it. So I want to keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and play to her strengths. You did a good job. I will praise you. You're quite the motivator, Professor. And now she gets an extra session. Um, do I want to try that again? Or do I want to go to Reason? Let's train her in Reason. I got it? Good. Everything went pretty well today. Uh, I think I accidentally, accidentally double trained her twice. Um... I don't know if that's my controller or what, but sometimes when I press the A button, uh, I get an extra session out of it that I didn't actually mean to spend. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and train her in faith. I appreciate your coaching, Professor. And it might help for me to learn some faith too. Hmm, where do I want to spend this next one? Oh, let's keep bringing up her faith. Everything went pretty well today. There you go. All right. Bernadetta, I've got high motivation on, so I want to take advantage of that. Or at least see what she wants. A lance and bow. Um. Hmm. Who else am I going to bring? Because I do like the idea of training someone in lance and bow, but... She wants to learn the sword and the axe. 
Sylvain, this is our new recruit. He wants to learn the lance and the axe. Excuse me. And he's actually got a surprising skill for, um, for, um, blah, 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 reason. But if I only have a few sessions until I get more professor points, I think I want to spend them on people that I've got high motivation with. Linhart, what about you? You actually did pretty well in the last one, in the last battle, in the mock battle. And actually, I could start training you to be more of a healer. Why don't we do that? It is a long road to mastery. Yep. Let's give you another one up in healer. And... Where are your hidden talents? You don't have any. Not that I'm seeing yet. Okay. Uh, I could train you in reason. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna make you kind of a straight magic user, I think. It is a long road to mastery. And there you go. All right, so that's all we can do for individual instruction. Let's set a group task. Stable duty, weeding, or sky watch. Hmm, Ferdinand would actually be good. And who else? What if I go ahead and put you in there? And... Hmm... I'm thinking like Sylvain, he's got a D in writing, he's got a D affinity. Yeah, we'll put them together. Alright, goals. Okay, this is just where... Yeah, I can, uh, I can set them a custom focus. Hmm... Let's set a custom focus for you for reason. Because that... I want you to I want you to learn that hidden skill. And Hubert, you're fine. Uh Sylvain. I'll give you a custom focus for writing. Um Dorothea. Custom focus for um, crap, I forgot what I was specially training you in. Um, oops. Uh, Faith? I think it was Faith. Yeah, it was Faith. And, Linhart, let's give you a custom f Well, you're actually pretty good. I actually like, you know, let's give you a custom focus for... Hmm, this is getting one. I will, I'll think on that. I'm gonna have to go through and plan this out on my own, but for now, I think that's okay. Let's begin the lecture. May I ask? I am an avid arms collector. Since coming to live here, however, I have had much more trouble finding new items for my collection. Any ideas as to where I might find some uncommon weapons? Hmm, ask the nice to show you some weapons, try talking to a merchant, Ask a blacksmith to teach you how to craft your own. What would you want? Well, let's try this. That is a good option. Hey, his motivation went through the roof. Cool. And we got a lot of professor level out of it. It's a perfect day to exert oneself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll work. We got through that without trouble. Work together to clean the stable and feed the houses. Good. Support points between the two increased. Received 500 Gs. Received a smithing stone times three. Looked like that worked out pretty good. Oh, look at all that experience. And it's all thanks to me. Pretty much just winging it. It is Raphael's birthday. Would you like to buy flowers to celebrate? Sure. Thanks. A 
And now it's time for another free period, followed by another teaching. Oh no, actually we're going to battle? It's battle time. Uh, okay. Battle it is. Auxiliary battles. Auxiliary battles are now available. How often you can battle is limited by your activity points indicated at the top of the screen. On normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will cost will not cost activity points. Spirits of the Fallen. If you head into battle while playing online, you may see the spirits of those who perished on other players' battlefields. They are more likely to appear in places where death is frequent. Oh. Spirits that appear in this shade indicate an area where many enemy units have fallen. You can collect items that were dropped by the vanquished. Well, now I want to play online. Spirits that appear in yellow indicate an area where many allied units were lost. They can impart blessings such as experience or restored equipment. Dur wow, you can play online and you can get a bunch of good stuff. Restored equipment durability. Um... Connect to the network and play online? Yeah, let's take a look at it. Just to see once, at least. Mission. Red Canyon Dominance Auxiliary... Oh no. Oh no, we're not ready for that yet. In fact, I don't even think we can choose it, can we? Yeah, not yet. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Practice battle. A practice bout with the Knights of Saros set up to simulate, simulate real battlefield conditions. And we get gold as a reward. We'll do that. Um, now I'm kind of like shy about saving in my slots. Uh, I think this one is a safe one. I hope. Certain terrain will have effects on the unit occupying it. Forests, for instance, blah, blah, blah. We've seen that before. Move your units to advantageous terrain and prepare to meet the enemy. Practice Battle, White Clouds, Chapter 2, Familiar Scenery. In battle, it's necessary to deploy battalions so that students can experience taking command. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask. Oh, you've been helpful so far. Assigning battalions. After you hire a battalion, you'll need to decide who will lead them. Battalions can contain soldiers like mages and monks who don't fight with weapons. Be sure to think carefully about who would benefit most from the support of battalion soldiers and their specific skills. So this is going to be fun. This is our first experience with battalions. Assigning battalions. Use the inventory menu to assign battalions to your units, granting them increased stats like attack or hit rate. These stats will grow further as a battalion gains experience fighting alongside you. All right, gambit, gambits and rattling. When you deploy a battalion, you can utilize its special gambit in battle. If a gambit is successful, your enemy will be severely shaken. Units hit by gambits will be rattled. Rattled units cannot move, use gambits, or benefit from battalions and suffer a 10% penalty to all stats. And gambit boosts. Joining forces with a nearby ally is a surefire way to enhance your effectiveness. When a gambit is used on an enemy within the, the attack range of one or more of your other units, it will become a gambit boost. The might and hit rate of the gambit will increase based on the number of units participating and their support unit or support levels. Okay. So let's take a look at battalions right off the bat. Well, no, actually we need to decide what units I'm going to deploy, don't I? Who am I bringing into battle? The recommended level was three. The thing is, is if you keep going by the recom... Are we deploying everybody? We're deploying everybody so we don't have to choose. Never mind. Inventory. <laughs> Battalions. Um, I don't feel like I need a battalion. Uh, can I see the details? No. Um, here we go. Geralt's Mercenaries, Battalion Level 1, Experience 0. Veteran Mercenaries once commanded personally by Geralt the Bladebreaker. Physical Attack plus 1, Crit plus 5, Charisma plus 1, and Avoidance plus 5. 
Uh, the assault troop charge attack against foes in the area that has a might 10 and a hit 50. Okay. Oh, I'll just go through the rest of these. Seros mercenaries. Mercenaries hired by the Church of Seros. Um, physical attack 1, a negative to magic attack, a plus to hit, plus 5 to hit. Neutral to crit, at least for me. I'm guessing these are the stats based on me if I change them. Uh, avoidance will not change. Onslaught, attack that pushes the adjacent foe one tile away. Hmm, okay. And the Church of Cyrus soldiers. Standard Church of Cyrus infantry. Um, I would gain... I, would gain, uh, I don't know what PRT is, but I would gain one of those in resilience at a loss of nothing. Attack that rattles foes, or disturbance attack that rattles foes, preventing them from moving on the next turn. Might 4, hit rate of 60. Alright, I think I'm fine with Byleth commanding Geralt's mercenaries. Um... Um... Uh, let's just see how this goes. Let's just fight. Let's see how this goes. It's a practice battle, and uh... Let's we'll see how we do. Route the enemy for victory and defeat conditions by Lith or Edelgard falls in battle. I'm sure that we will get, you know, more in depth with battalions as we go further in the game and we can see what they can do. But I think we're going to get overwhelmed if we try to micromanage them at this point in time. So it's probably good to just go with how they're assigned. What are you going to drop? Uh, you're going to drop bullion. Is that in addition to our reward? Because that would be quite good. Alright, uh, we have a lot of units. So the purple ones are where enemy units fall, fell, and we can gain things. I don't see any yellow swirlies. Alright. So how are we going to do this? I kind of want to draw this unit in and this unit in, but I want them to fight on our terms. I will prevail. So let's move Edelgard into the front lines here with Stay myself. And we'll meet them head on. And hopefully we can keep I am them from, from flanking. Ferdinand will also wait. That's my cue. I'm going to move Dorothea over here to back people up on this side. Oh no. I'm going to move uh, Bernadetta over here into the forest and she will basically be in a position to attack either battalion with her archery skills. <sighs> You're going to move over here towards uh, right about here so that you're prepared to heal. As you wish. You're gonna back up Bernadetta with magic. Put You're gonna move there. to the front lines ahead of her. Oh no, you move to the front lines with Dorothea. I said back up Bernadetta. You're backing up Dorothea. And then I'm gonna move you over here. So as to protect our line that way. I'm on it. Let's go ahead and assign you up here. And let's go ahead and bring I will get the victory. you over here in kind of the rear lines, but prepare to get some finishing blows. I think this will work. <laughs> Skill of love. X is now D, or X is now D. Learn the ability Axe Prowess Level 2. So far this is working out pretty much like I want. And I've almost leveled up. I hope it's a good one. Alright. Now that you're in here, let's give... Can I... I can't move you there. 
kind of want to give you a finishing blow. Uh, he's got 10 HP left. You can probably finish that off. So let's move Edelgard up here. And finish this guy off. Or at least do some solid damage on him. And now let's move Petra in here. And do you have combat arts? You have Wrath Strike, which is useful, but I don't want to use that right away if I don't have to. Then you can finish him off without it. Or you can't. Oh no, double hit. Ooh, you're fast. I will not be stopping. That was good. Petra, you've got potential. I didn't see that you were gonna get two hits. Go ahead and finish this last one off on the side. Allow me to demonstrate. Ah, oh, nice, a crit. Them? That was Such pretty good. Power dwells within. I'll take it. Truly amazing. All right. Now, Ferdinand, let's move you up here, and you're going to do your cheap. Chief butt kick butt kisser duty and Prime Minister the hell out of this guy. Yeah! Only a fool challenges me. Oh, so close to the next level. We did spawn a yellow spark over here if we want to regenerate things. Or get another boon. But uh these guys did not come in for the trap. Which means they're probably actually pretty smart. So let's move you up here. And have you wait. You'll join her in the front lines. Right here. And wait. And you'll blank up right there. And that will keep them from passing you by. And getting to our squishy squishy magic users which are going to be... Do we have any archers? No, these are all spearmen. Okay. So, well, we don't need to put them adjacent yet. So wait there. And... Do you need to heal anybody? I'm okay. Edelgard is okay. Petra is definitely okay. And so is Ferdinand. No, we're all good. All right, let's move you up here. And uh, we'll just expand our formation and move like this. And I think we're going to end our turn. Alright, are you coming in now? You are. Good guy Casper does the damage. That axe is almost as big as he is. That didn't hurt. This is how you hurt. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and see if we can finish these two off. Um, no, actually, you really could use the experience if you can finish this guy off. What if I give you a combat art? Do you have one? Why is it doing that? There we go. Uh, no combat art. Oh well. Alright, so I definitely want to go ahead and heal heal uh, Casper. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now while I'm thinking about it. That's not my healer. This is my healer. I will learn, I will learn these people and their models eventually. Especially the important ones like my clerics. Alright, Linhart's good to go now. Can you finish this guy off? Tempest Lance, do I need to use it or can I just do it with a normal attack? Uh, will Tempest Lance help? It will, and I don't see a reason not to use it. It doesn't look like we were going to get two strikes. So let's just yeah. wipe you out. You're out of luck. All right, so overall though, I'm pretty happy with the position of everybody. I don't really want to break formation yet. 
Although, what I might want to do... Peter, why don't you come down here with me? Why don't we take on... Actually, I don't want to pull you out of the forest yet. Why don't we wait? Why don't I have you wait there and I'll be the bait. And see if we can get this battalion to come over here. And then... Um, we'll go ahead and have Edelgard come down here with us. We'll see how this shakes out. Everyone else is pretty good. Uh, Bernadetta, yeah, come down here and back us out. I think that's a good idea. And we're good for this. All right, you're all healed up. Get that level. You see that? Ah, uh, 31 still. Well, you get, you're getting a lot of experience. They're coming right for you. So you might get to kill this guy too. Ah, good. Come on in. The bait is fine. I mean, look at me. I'm fine. As expected. Kind of didn't want to kill him, but I'll take it. Really wanted Petra to get that experience. All right. Um, let's go ahead and have you heal. And then... Thanks for helping. I will have Casper finish this last guy off, and we'll start... Actually, why don't you go investigate this square over here? I'm guessing I wait on this. It looks like an intense battle took place here. You found something next to one of the fallen. Antitoxin. Cool. Alright. Um, can you actually help cat Oh no, I've already waited, didn't I? Yeah. Alright. Just gonna see if you if you could help Casper, but no. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's see if Casper gets enough experience to level off of this guy. No, not quite. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Because I could definitely give it to Dorothea, but I'm going to move Dorothea over thusly. I'm going to go ahead and start preparing to take on this unit here. Is a feeling, I have a feeling they're going to be coming pretty quick. Actually... Hmm, we could bust out of the trees and head for this group of trees. I kind of want to see if we can bait them in to us, though. And we'll leave... We'll leave Edelgard there to do that. We'll back you up over here. Actually... Maybe I should give you the final blow. Curved shot. Okay. Interesting. Let's try it out. I'm okay Everyone's with that. It. And everyone's affinity rose. So this unit's basically done. Let's move you down here. Have you wait? Can I bait you out? I really want to. At least I don't have to worry about, you know, facing my units the right way. Because that used to be a thing in Fire Emblem. And it still is in a lot of other strategy RPGs. You needed to face your units the appropriate way so that they couldn't be taken from behind or from the side. Alright, let's try this. Oh no, um... No, I'm okay with this for the moment. Let's see how this goes. Oh, the boss character is uh, a coming. Yeah, that's why I left you in the trees. Petra! You're a fast little bitch. I like it. Petra might join me on the battlefield quite often at this rate. No, that was a big battle of nothing. Come. 
There we go, that's what I want to see. Come to me. Come to death. <laughs> you didn't give it your all. And I level up again. What am I getting? We must all do our part. It's okay. Alright, looks like we're starting to close in on the end of this battle. Petra, finish him off. Take that level up. You're really good. My heart is full of victory. What's your first level up? Hard work created this. Could be worse. Like I said, I since I'm LPing this game, I'm probably not going to save scum to get optimal level ups. I'm just going to kind of take what I'm getting, given and hope for the best. And I'm hoping that, you know, instructing will make up the deficit if I get some bad level ups. I'm hoping that that's the case. All right. What do I want to do here? I kind of want to move you in range to get at least a little magic off. Ooh, Miasma. This is quite good, isn't it? That hits, uh, that hits hard. Who else can I stack some experience on for this? I don't know. You're over here. You think you could hit him with another curved shot, babe? That one. Mm, kinda do want to start giving you final blows. Um Who have I got? Casper, you still need a final blow. Where how can I select you? Uh why why are did you move this turn? No. You're grayed out. Maybe you did and I just forgot. Alright, who needs healing? Uh, Casper actually kind of does. Uh, I don't think he's going to make it all the way down here to Petra or me. Edelgard's doing okay. Hubert's doing okay. Fernand's doing okay. Dorothea. Yeah, I think Casper is my best bet for a heal. I'm not sure I can. Can I get close enough? Assists. Heal. No. Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, if I move, if I move her over here. Actually, let's do this. Edelgard. You move over he here. I'm going to put Dorothea over here and give her a finishing blow. Or no, I'm not. All right. Ferdinand, you come over here and you take a finishing blow. Luck is that means Dorothea. Oh, you get a level up. The noble standard. <laughs> Alright, Dorothea, you come over here and you take this finishing blow, hopefully? Would love it if you did. Uh, Thunder will definitely kill him. Train Sword will not. Thunder it is. Winning's always nice. And now, with her over there, now I can move you over here. And now you can assist and heal Casper. Or Lindhart. No, Casper. Yeah, I was right. I owe you one. And that gives you a level up. You get a good one. I like your level ups. That's the best one yet. Alright, that gives us a pretty strong front, but I'm going to want to move myself over here. And now we're ready to go. 4 units left, we're actually doing quite good. Uh, 
Okay, I was about to say. That was way too close for her to not get a level up. Yeah, come on and kill yourself on Dorothea. That's okay. There's plenty of Dorothea to go around. Okay. Now... Let's move Edelgard up here. She can attack from the side. With her Iron Axe. Takes care of that guy, gets his drop. And another level up immediately. Wow. It's a long road yet. Maybe I didn't want to give that to her. Oops. Received bullion. Is that the end of the battle? No. Good. Because I want... I want Petra to smack the crap out of this guy. Just like that. She is fast. She's going to be useful. I like her a lot. Okay, now I just need to decide who gets what. I'm going to go over here and get this goodie. Maybe? Let's wait here and see what this does. You can't shake the vision of an ally falling in battle. It feels like this place is under some sort of protection. XP obtained. Cool. Quite a bit, actually. Equipment durability restored by three. All right, so those are going to be... These spaces are useful, strategically, they are. Ferdinand, you don't need another level. Hubert, you kind of do. In fact, Hubert, you just need experience, you know, generally. You can finish this guy off. How humiliating. <sighs> Not enough. Okay, who am I going to give this final killing blow to? Dorothea, you don't need one. Caspar, you have worked for it this entire match. You take the final, final blow, I hope. Should be. And he's down. And finally you get a level up. Make it worth it. Yeah. I'm just getting started. Receive 2,800 gold. That was profitable, that was. Six turns. MVP was Dorothea. Or no. Petra. Petra was MVP. Took me a minute to remember who she was, and then I second guessed myself. I'm like, no, that's right, that's Petra. Renown increased. Okay. That was actually quite fun. Um, where am I going to put the save? Uh, I have a feeling we're pretty far past this. Events on 518. Calculating, please wait. Is that because of the loading screen? I would assume so. As I kind of, you know, dance my way across the bottom of the screen. I do like the little sprites down there. I think that's a cool way to do a loading screen. Now I'm boogieing the other way. And what have we got? More lessons. This week's instruction is about to begin. Choose your metho method of instruction. We're going to instruct manually, of course, but I think we're going to do that next time, guys. It seems like a pretty good place to call it an episode. We had our first week of lessons. We had our first practice battle, which we did really well in, and we kind of got used to using battalions a little bit. But regardless, all of our students are doing really well, and uh, I'm actually really eager to start teaching them even more. I really like this teaching system. This is actually really cool. But like I said, we're going to do that next time. So I hope to see you then. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. As always, I much appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure you let me know by giving me that thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe because I upload Fire Emblem every weekday. And if you have any hints, tips, tricks, or other comments, leave me one. But no spoilers, please. I am doing this blind. Thanks for watching again. And you guys have a great day. Later.